of a wider political involvement in bringing about some degree of progress, possibly even a solution to the desperate crisis facing Syria of a summit of all the nations of that region, plus, of course, Britain, the USA and uh, Russia. Well, first of all, um, let, let me say to the honourable gentleman, we don't believe it's right to take part in the European relocation quota because we think a better answer for Britain, which is such a major uh, investor into these refugee camps, is to take people directly from the camps because in that way we won't be encouraging more people to take this perilous journey. But where I would say Britain is absolutely fulfilling our moral responsibility is if you take a long-term view and look at the asylum seekers we've taken, look at the people that we've resettled from uh, around the world here, we absolutely play our part. In terms of his question about um, Iran, of course there is an opportunity for greater dialogue with Iran. Now this nuclear deal, which I think is a good deal, has been done. But I think Britain should enter into this in a very cautious and sceptical way. We ought to remember that Iran is still a supporter of, of terrorist organisations like Hamas and Hezbollah, which I know he describes as friends, but I see very much as enemies. And also, we need to make sure that Iran is playing a positive role in Syria, rather than the role it is now of propping up the hated Assad regime.